Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the problem of the day human population containing 200 individuals has two alleles at the T locus named um, T and T. Uh, capital T which produce tall individuals is dominant over small T which produce short individuals. If the population has uh, 90 individuals that belong to the uh, homozygous dominant genotype and 40 individuals that belong to the heterozygous genotype and 70 individuals that belong to the homozygous recessive genotype, what will be the frequencies of these alleles in this population? So, as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. Basically, this is very easy problem, I will show you how to solve it within one minute and more than that, I will show you how to even simplify this problem more and I will show you shortcut for a solution. So, we have three genotypes. One genotype is homozygous dominant, another is heterozygous and the last one is homozygous recessive. But as you see, uh, these three genotypes is made by only two type of alleles. This is one type of alleles and this is second type of alleles. So only two alleles make three genotypes. And we know that um, 90 people have this genotype. We know that 40 people have this genotype and 70 people has this genotype. So now imagine, uh, I want to turn on your imagination that uh, these 90 individuals hold uh, each allele in their hands. So we have 90 individuals that holds, each one holds in each hand uh, one allele. So what is the total number of alleles here? So this group of people would have 180 uh, alleles T. So 180 alleles T. And this group of people would have 40 alleles that is dominant T in one hand and 40 alleles that is recessive allele T in other hand, right? And these 70 individuals would have 140 uh, recessive alleles T. So uh, basically we just doubled these numbers and these individuals here have half of the alleles that is uh, dominant allele T and half of the um, alleles that is recessive T. So this is how we got all these numbers. So now we just have to separate these two uh, variants of alleles into say um, piles of alleles. So this 40 we have to add here so plus and this 40 we have to add to this pile. So also plus sign here and number of alleles here would be 220 and here we would have 180 alleles T. So now we separated all the alleles in two piles and as you see total number of alleles 220 plus 180. What is the percentage of this number which is 400 so we can add this to numbers and we are going to get 400, right? So this is total number of alleles that these three groups have. So now in order to find frequency of the dominant allele T everything we have to do we have to divide 220 by 400 and as you see the answer would be 0 0.55 and if we divide 180 
by the total number of alleles, we are going to get 0 0.45. And this is answer B. So I have shown here uh, the long way how to solve this problem, just for you to understand the logic. But actually there is uh, even a shortcut in order to solve this problem. Because we are asked uh, the frequencies of alleles, we uh, shouldn't uh, multiply these numbers by 2. Actually, we just can divide this number by 2. So, we can add 20 to this uh, 90, and 20 we can add to this 70. So, uh, we are going to get the same frequencies of the alleles without uh, doubling all the numbers. Because if we double this number, if we double this number, and if we double this number, uh, number is going to be different, but frequencies would be the same. Like, uh, for example, if we divide four, uh, 8 by 4, we are going to get 2. Or if we divide 4 by 2, we are also going to get 2. So those numbers are different, but the uh, proportions are the same. So next time if you would see such a problem and if the question would be about frequencies you just may uh, divide this number by half and add to here and to here. And if the question would be about exact number of alleles you have to double uh, these um, numbers just like uh, in my calculations I have shown here. So, uh, this is up to you which method to use, but be careful uh, that if question about exact number of alleles, you have to multiply by 2 all the numbers uh, and solve exactly as I show here. And if uh, the question about frequencies, you just can uh, divide this number by, by 2 and add half to here and half to here. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.